Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Ignore the opinions of others. Don't take anything personally. Whatever people do, feel, think or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system. So whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. That's a, that's a wild one. That's a wild card, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 255, Nasdaq up 187, S&P's up 47. Gold, gold contract down five dollars eighty cents, trading at 18, 18, 19, 84 an ounce. Silver up eight cents, twenty three dollars fifty cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off twenty six cents, trading at seventy two dollars ninety three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten year note. Down four ticks, trading one fourteen sixteen. The thirty year off five at one twenty nine twenty five. And King Dollar, King Dollar trading up two hundred and forty four ticks at one oh two six seventy four. The euro is at one oh eight. The yen is at one thirty two, and the British pound is at one twenty three to one U S dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is really cool where we're at here, man. Wow, where do you see this? So what we have, I'm going to bring the E-minis up again. We just did that update. So at this point, yeah, you're at, eight, you're at eight minutes into this 10-minute bar. So check out what we have here. Okay. So your benchmark here for, the, for two minutes, okay, is 4049. And what we did is this, is that the, the first, your first bar, you, you got the spike. The second bar, you got even a heavier spike. And you get some big volume on it. The, the, when, when you are going to basically start backing down again, um, what you have here, folks, is that if we close under that benchmark of 4049.00, that would be saying that you get a failure. And what would end up happening then is that this type of volume, this is not a day, day trade, okay? It'll go right down to the other side of it. So we'll see where this happens. It, it's really, it's, it's, it's close. The reason it's close is this, is that most of the time when you get a spike like this, right? The, the, what, the, what the market's looking for is, okay, how many more buyers do we have up here? And you can see we don't have a lot, a lot of more buyers up here. That's what ended up happening. Spiked it once, spiked it again, and, you know, we're up 50. I mean, how much they want, I guess. But, but I'm just kind of trying to explain to you on an intraday basis what normally shakes out here. We go into the NQs. We take a look at the NQs. The NQs have the same type of setup. And we take a look at the NQs and what you have here. Did the same deal with the same type of volume, but you can see there's not much movement after the first two bars. And so the NQ has a lower benchmark. That benchmark is 937. We're 10 points over that right now. I suspect what we're going to see first is this. You're going to have a fight here. If we get under those benchmarks, right, the next 5, 10 minutes, bottom line is that you're going to have more sellers than your buyers coming into the close here. That's how this shakes out. Because, see, what should have happened if, well, if we stay up here, it's 10 minute by, they'll run into the close. Now, because if we go to the, the day, let's go to the dailies now. If you go to the dailies, this is another contraction, a monster contraction too. You're going into the, uh, in the spy, this thing was trying to hit the 402. We hit 400.77. And you can see the contraction. The contraction is pretty dramatic, man. I mean, you know, yesterday we did uh, 62 million, we're at 50 right now. You're going into 111 million, you know, so that's a big number. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the Qs. Qs are set up the same type of way, man. Uh, you know, the, the Qs want to get that uh, 313 again, 313.68. We made it to 312.54. The contraction's there. And once again, though, the, I suspect the Qs are going to get it. You know, it looks to me the Qs, the Qs want it. They're going to get it. So the real question is, is they, did I get it today? Which they could very easily because we hit... 312.54, you know, already. So we'll see how that baby shakes out. Gold, gold contract out here. We take a look at the gold contract. What do you have with the gold contract? You're pulling back with light volume. Um, this is building costs for higher price, man. You know, you, you only get 138,000 contracts on the pullback. Let me show you this. Yeah, 
you got high volume today, you know, but you're rolling. Yeah, well, you haven't got below lows either. You haven't got below lows. You have high volume. You know, this is this is staying at highs. The longer this stays at highs, the higher the probability that you're going to bust through. And we go into the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. What we have with the dollar is this. The dollar has rejected lower price again, just barely, but rejected lower price. Um, and that's not a lot of price movement out here. You know, the dollar hit a high today of 102.786. You know, you're 100 points off it. You know, not much action. My take is this dollar is going to try to get up to the 106 to 107 area once again. And then we go into the bond market. We take a look at the bond market out here. The note and bond market. We take a look at the note, note market first. You're going to see notes and bonds want higher price, folks. Higher price, lower yield coming at us. If we take a look at this, what you're going to see, we're backing down. There's no sellers in the market. You know, you get, you get 1.2 million contracts inside of the 10-year. That's going into 1.8. That's going into... 2.8, that's going into 4.35. You're talking about some monster numbers out there. Some of the higher volume equities out here today inside the market. This is going to be a very low volume market. You got uh, Intel up $2.40, Tesla's up $3. You have uh, Advanced Micro up a buck and a half, Micron Technologies up $4.80, uh, NVIDIA's up $5.76. You have. Uh, or else let's go inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. Lululemon, oh, that's one I was looking for. That's up to 13 uh, percent. Rivian's up 11 percent. Taken away from it, Ross Stores is down eight tenths of a percent. Not, not hardly nothing inside the NDX 100 on the way down. JD is down seven tenths of one percent. Regeneron five tenths. Um, Micron Tech is up eight uh, percent. You get some movers out here. In spades, we have some movers, but you're going up to the top. Uh, you have a volume that continually contracts. So, the, you know, the bottom line is that, uh, and, the, and you're coming into window dressing. That's what we have happening here. This is today, yeah, today's an important day. You know, we'll see if we, if we contract again and you stay at these prices, you can picture that they're going to go after the swing points, the swinger highs, and the contraction will be there. And this will go into window dressing, okay, which brings us into Monday or Tuesday of next week, and that's where you'll get the failure. Dow Industrials right now, 272, Nasdaq's up 198, S&Ps are up 50. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. God bless.